Hello friends, welcome to War Wiki. Meticulous Monday is a series where we discuss about some current affair news. Today in Meticulous Monday we will tell you about the latest news involving one of the most controversial defense project of United States and its allies. Today we discuss about Joint Strike Fighter Program for F-35, the fifth generation multi-role fighter. Before we come to the news regarding the F-35 Lightning II fighter, let's first find out some information on this plane. Let's understand what is it that makes this fighter project one of the most expensive and controversial projects in United States defense industry. F-35 is the outcome of the X-35 project, which became the chosen design for Joint Strike Fighter Program or JSFP. The Joint Strike Fighter Program was designed by United States and several other of its allies to replace their air defense and ground support aircrafts with a single cost-effective substitute. The idea was that one plane with slight variations could be used to perform tasks for all countries and all their forces. Countries like Canada, United Kingdom, Turkey, Australia, Netherlands, Italy, and Denmark apart from the United States, were initially involved in this program, several more joined later. After a tough competition between Boeing X-32 and Lockheed Martin X-35, the later won this program and was chosen to replace the F-16, A-10 Warthogs and F-18 fighters of United States, and the Harrier jets of Britain. The program was initially estimated to cost around $1.1 trillion in its full lifetime. Other major F-35 industry partners include Northrop Grumman, Pratt & Whitney and BAE Systems. With an estimate of 2,457, United States was supposed to be the biggest buyer of this aircraft. F-35 were supposed to provide a cost-effective solution to United States armed forces, and provide a healthy mix of high-low cost to complement the F-22 Raptors. The Lockheed Martin's F-35, which emerged from the prototype X-35, is the first stealth multi-role fighter in the world. As planned, it can provide ground attack and support as well as XL in air defense engagements. It has three variants, F-35A, the conventional takeoff and landing variant to be used by United States Air Force. The F-35B, short takeoff, vertical landing variant designed for the U.S. Marine Corps. And the F-35C carrier-based catapult-assisted takeoff, arrested recovery variant, which is to be used by United States Navy. As per the initial commitments, all three variants were supposed to be operational and deployed by 2009, unfortunately this has not been achieved even till today. The idea was that since all variants will use the same airframe with few different specifications, the cost can be reduced considerably, the maintenance becomes easier and much cheaper as spare parts can be mass-produced. In theory it did make sense, however things change during implementation. The cost overruns and delay in development is the reason F-35 has been criticized the most. There are two very opposite views regarding this plane. One side considers this plane as a revolutionary fighter, it has a massive speed capability of 1.6 Mach, with almost as much thrust as weight and a flight control system that allows it to be fully maneuverable even at a 50 degree angle of attack, this becomes one of the best air-to-air -air fighter. The plane is extremely electronically advanced. The electronic edge F-35 enjoys over every other tactical aircraft in the world, may prove to be more important in future missions than maneuverability. The active electronically scanned array is extremely advanced and capable of multiple radar detections. This plane also allegedly has capabilities to intercept, read and even jam enemy frequencies, making the enemy blind during engagement. Another key part of the plane is a self-aware software, which can assess its own problems and informs the pilot if any repair or changes are needed. The plane can communicate with other planes and support infrastructure almost autonomously. Perhaps the best feature it has, is that it can take off and land vertically. During war, in an event of damaged landing stirp this capability is very useful. There are only a handful of planes having this capability. In fact it is because of its vertical landing feature that Lockheed Martin received a major order from United States Marine Corps. The F-35 achieves low observable stealth performance through its fundamental design. The F-35 external shape, internal carriage of weapons and fuel, embedded mission system sensors, and state-of-the-art manufacturing processes, all contribute to the F-35 unique stealth performance. The other side has been a strong critics of this plane. The F-35 development has been anything but smooth. Deadlines have been missed, critical data have been allegedly stolen, cost overruns have been rampant, and the development itself has been questioned by many. The project has faced several problems right from its development days. In 2009 there were allegations of metadata being stolen from servers, 
it's even claimed that the Shenyang J31 of China is the result of this corporate theft. Ever since 2014 Pentagon's Directorate of Operational Test and Evaluation, DOTNE, has pointed out concerns and problems with the fighter. In 2016 DOTNE report contained dozens of pages describing as many as 276 critical deficiencies plaguing Lockheed Martin's F-35. Even the basic safety standards have been questioned in these reports. Recently, newly confirmed Defense Secretary James Mattis ordered the Pentagon to conduct a review of the $400 billion program. There have been many stern critics of F-35, and the list includes prominent names like Pierre Spray, a renowned defense analyst attributed as a co-designer of F-16 and A-10 aircrafts, other critics include none other than the current President of United States, Donald Trump himself. Pierre has called this fighter as Lemon, a turkey, and even a runaway fighter, he claims that this plane can not win a dogfight even with 1950s fighters like MiG-21 and Mirage 3, let alone current European and Russian fighters like the Gripen and Sukhoi Su-35. As per Pierre the addition of turbofans in center which allow the plane for vertical takeoff and landing, makes it extremely fat and bulky. This extra weight results in overconsumption of fuel, due to which the plane cannot remain in air for too long, which is expected of it, if it has to substitute the A-10 Warthogs. The plane cannot be maneuvered at low speeds, which again is expected from a ground support aircraft. Similarly the tiny wings of the plane makes it virtually impossible to maneuver during dog fights, the bulky body adds drift making it a poor choice to substitute F-16 or F-18. To achieve stealth, the fighter has only two internal bomb bays, poor bomb carrying capability makes it a poor choice for bombing missions as well. During his election campaign, in two separate instances, President Trump called the F-35 program, out of control. He is not entirely wrong either. The cost of the project has already reached close to half a trillion dollar. The variants which were supposed to be operational in 2009 are expected to be operational by 2019, that too with compromised technologies. In recent news regarding this mean machine, the US Department of Defense has reached an agreement with Lockheed Martin for the next batch of 90 F-35 fighters. The price of the fighters has been reduced by Lockheed Martin. In a statement released by the aerospace contractor, the deal represents $728 million in savings and an 8% drop in price over the last contract. Lockheed Martin also said that it was President Trump's personal involvement that resulted in closing of ongoing negotiations, and have resulted in a win-win for both US DOD and the taxpayers of United States on one hand, and Lockheed Martin on the other. This new contract will also add 1,800 new jobs at Lockheed Martin's facility in Fort Worth, Texas. This sudden change in stance by Pentagon has surprised many. The Pentagon's green light signals a turnaround for the Lockheed Martin-led F-35 program, and follows months of doubt over the future of the effort to deliver this fifth-generation fighters to the US and its allies. What's more surprising is that President Trump himself had been a great critic of this program, and that many from his cabinet have pointed out the safety and competence concerns over F-35. After becoming the president-elect, he had tweeted regarding F-35 and Lockheed Martin, which made the Lockheed Martin stock tumble quite a bit. Critics say that the F-35 project has become too big to fail, and no matter what, it will get a saving hand from the US government. US allies like Britain too are heavily invested in this project, if F-35 truly fails as a competent fifth-generation fighter, it would mean a massive economic impact for UK, along with a threat to its security. Critics have pointed out that military industry lobbies in Capitol Hill and political donation play a very big part in this subject as well. None of the variant has been battle-tested so far, only time will tell, if F-35 truly is a revolutionary plane that the US government thinks it to be, or is it a white elephant with too many jobs and economic impact, which probably has become too big to fail. We would like to know your view on this topic. What do you think? Is F-35 a top-notch fifth-generation fighter who can actually perform if ever pitched against Russian and Chinese fighters? Or is it truly just an economic program benefiting Lockheed Martin? which in turn creates jobs and helps in churning the economy. Let us know your views by commenting below. We will continue to bring you such latest updates. If you want to see more of such informative and elaborate videos, please show us your support by subscribing to our channel. Do like our video, have a great day and support WarWiki.